to talk to you a little bit. Can I talk to you for just a second? We're all friends, right? We stayed up till at least Sunday morning together. It's, uh, I haven't spent the Saturday night with this many people in one night in a, in a long time, so thank you for that. I started thinking today about what is it that I love so much about Chicago? And you can look around and you can see a part of what I love about Chicago. We talked about uh, how y'all come out whether we're on the radio or not, it just doesn't really matter. You support us because uh, somewhere in your hearts you found it to love what we do, and I appreciate that. We have to talk a little bit about uh, faith and belief with the people of Chicago this evening. I was 10 years old and uh, I saw Michael Jackson moonwalk on the Grammy Awards. And I knew I was never going to moonwalk on the Grammy Awards. I was never going to moonwalk anyway. But I did get a guitar and I thought maybe I could write some songs. And I was foolish enough to think that maybe one day I'd, I'd have a career as a musician. There have been a whole lot of people along the way that said, no, you can't have a career as a musician because you have to have a major label, record label behind you. You have to have radio support. You have to have all of these things. And I don't have any of those things. But I got a bunch of folks like you that make it okay for me to do what I do. And somewhere along the, along the line, I wrote this song. And I always thought it was just about me growing up as a kid and wanting to be a musician and all those things. But then, he got recorded by some friends of ours from Texas called the Eli Young. And the next thing you know, I was nominated for a Grammy Award. And I lost. Okay. Some, some would then say that I was cursed. I was cursed. I could never, I could never win a Grammy Award. And maybe that's true. Somewhere. Somewhere deep inside, I believe that there is still a chance that maybe one day I'll win a Grammy Award. And then I was thinking about the beautiful people of Chicago today. And I started thinking about this curse. They talked about this curse. The curse of the goat. to believe long enough and you can make shit happen. So, I started reading up on you. I started reading up on your goat curse today. I read all about it. And it's just some dude that had a goat. He didn't have any kind of special powers. It wasn't a special goat. It's the same goat that all my friends' families had growing up in Nashville, Tennessee. It's just a fucking goat. That's all it is. And so he said, you'll never win another World Series. Or you'll never win another playoff game. Well, he didn't know any more about it than you and I do. So what we're going to do here tonight, the same way that he put the curse on, we're going to take the curse off. Because I believe, I believe that the beautiful people of Chicago deserve that. Do you believe Chicago? Do you believe Chicago? So this is a song about believing in your dreams. And no matter what anybody tells you, one day they just might come true. So right now, you can say that you were here the night that we broke the curse of the goat. Meerkat 
work. We're trying to break the curse of the goat right here. I see your phones out. So if we do this right, this will go down in history. Nobody remembers. There's no video footage of the goat curse, but there will be video footage of the goat cure, ladies and gentlemen. You can say it's here. So right now, I don't care if you don't like the goats. You like you don't like goats. So let's root against the goat. Now, close your eyes and sing like you want to help this wonderful. Come on. Sing! 